Welcome to Harriet and One Hotel Toronto. I'm Chef Yuri. Nice to meet you. Hi, Chef. Thank, Thank you, you so nice much. To meet you. This looks delicious. What do we have? Uh, we have here lobster hush puppy. It's inspired by one of the Japanese traditional street food, takoyaki. We have vegetable rolls made with uh, fresh local vegetables and beautiful winter truffle paste. Please enjoy. Oh, oh, sounds nice delicious. Thank you. Thank you. Well. Beautiful. Thank you. Right. Shall we dig in? Yes, it yes. looks amazing. So this must be nice for the two of you being able to get together. Happens rarely. It does. It doesn't have. It, we used to see each other more often, but mm -hmm. lives, careers, and children, we don't see each other as often anymore. So yes, it's really nice to see Happy. So now, I guess, now as mothers, how has your perspective on hockey changed? Well, I, I think it's the ultimate of... Uh, you want your kids to experience joy. And uh, when I think about them being on the ice or playing different sports, you just want the best for them. Yes, there's a lot of hard work along the way, but I think you want them to have the value of the game, of those relationships, the lessons that you learn, uh, and having a lot of fun along the way too. I think it's for me, it's like that, the lessons you learn part. Mm -hmm. You know, that I've, my character has been defined through my experience in sport in many ways and the idea of learning teamwork and discipline and commitment those are all things I, I want my kids to learn um, so there's a big focus on that and I think the other thing is the appreciation for the people that make it happen and as a kid you don't get that but certainly as a parent the coaches the volunteers the officials it takes a village to create a positive experience for a young child in sport, regardless of what sport it is. And um, I think looking at it from a parent's point of view, I appreciate all of that a lot more. My parents always encouraged my brother and I to, to be involved with sport, but there wasn't an expectation that you have to play hockey or you have to have a goal or an ambition to represent your country. And then it just so happens, like both your parents, oh no, you know, just have fun, no expectations. Yeah, seven combined Olympic gold medals, you know, that, that's nice too. It takes a lot of support though, right? It's, it's not the expectations, but I found from my um, growing up, and yours, I'm sure it's the same, Jen, but that idea of if that's your dream, mm -hmm. chase it. You know, it doesn't matter if you were a young girl in a male-dominated sport, but not everyone had that encouragement. So it wasn't the expectations they put on, but it was like, go for it. Mm -hmm. Like, why, why shouldn't you? play hockey. Um, and that's one thing I'm very grateful for that at the time I didn't realize either. So I think all of us, what we have in common is obviously not the Olympic golds, but more so just <laughs> trying to <laughs> trying to make the sport better. And I found over my career, and I think it's also just growing personally and professionally, it's about learning, not finding my voice, but learning how to use it and having the confidence to use it. Hopefully, we've been a part of change for the better and encouraging people to think about situations or to think about the sport of hockey perhaps differently. And I'm also hopeful that that's a part of more choices for people down the road. And I've always said on, on playing the sport of hockey that not every girl has to play, but I love that it's a choice in many places in the world, certainly in North America now. And I'm certainly hopeful that that's the case for many roles in sport. This is fun. We should do this more often. Yes, please. Do it. Yeah. So nice. <laughs> it's better than what I would make. <laughs> it's amazing.